Hello, welcome to chapter seven for business math called charge accounts and credit cards. This is lesson uh, 7.1 account statements. Excuse me, making kind of funny noise here. Um, as always, make sure you're reading through the chapter. Look at the lesson, what vocabulary, what concepts are they asking you to, to understand for this lesson and go through the examples. Don't just jump over the worksheet hoping that the worksheet's gonna give you everything that you need. Make sure you read through the examples so you understand what you're doing. Not just how do I get through it, but what am I doing? All right, so let's go ahead and read this. Whoops, I to turn that off. Let's go ahead and read that summary real quick. So we have when you have a credit card or charge account, you receive a monthly statement. The statement lists all transactions that were posted, sorry, processed by the uh, closing date for that month. You can also review your statement online and make payments using your uh, account's electronic transfer of funds feature. If your previous bill was not paid in full by the closing date, a finance charge is added. So this is all kind of pretty basic information for a credit card, depending on your age there. Um, hopefully you don't have a credit card yet, um, but this is gonna be you know, pretty basic information once you get to that point. You, you can charge an amount after 30 days. It's, you can leave it on there for free for 30 days, and as long as you pay it, you pay no finance charge. But if you leave it for longer than 30 days, then there's going to be a finance charge, meaning you have to pay for that borrowed money now. Um, so the basic formula here we have is new balance equals previous balance minus finance charge plus new purchases minus any payments or credits. So you have to add everything that increases your account. So new or previous balance doesn't necessarily increase your account. It just carries over. A finance charge, that's more. You have to pay for borrowing that money. New purchases, that's you know more money that you put on that account. Payments would bring it down. That's you know less. So we subtract that. Credits would be, for instance, if you you know took an item back to the store and returned it, and instead of giving you money or cash, they credited your credit card. Um, so they they gave you the money back, but they put it on your credit card. They do that pretty often if you buy it with a credit card. All right, we're not going to really go through too many of these. These ones are pretty basic here. You're just following this um, really basic formula here. I'll call it a formula. All right, so we have um, what is the new balance for the credit statement shown. Um, we have a billing date, and we have previous balance, finance charge, payments and credits, new purchases. So just make sure you're paying attention. They actually swapped these two from up here, didn't they? So instead of doing new purchases and then payments and credits, they did payments and credits and then new purchases. So not a big deal. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was pretty sudden. Um, we just have to pay attention to what we're adding, what, what we're subtracting. So we're going to add the finance charge to the previous balance. We're going to subtract any payments or credits because that makes it go down. And then we're going to add any new purchases because that'll make the balance go up. And then I'll give us our new balance. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that calculation. Pretty simple there. Um, number two, exactly the same idea. So um, just, you know, add the, oops, add the pieces that make the um, balance go up. Subtract the piece here that makes the balance go down. Um, number three, four, and five, the only difference here is they're asking you to fill in the, the statement. So they're not filling it in completely for you. So we go through and, and we see that you have a monthly um, statement from bank card. What is your new balance? Complete the account statement. So your previous balance is 716.45. Um, you made payments of 115.75. So you're going to have to add those together to put them in here because you made both payments. Um, and then you made new purchases. Oops, went too far here. You made new purchases right here. So add these three together to, um, and I put that in the wrong spot, sorry. Here's payments and credits. Um, and then here are your new purchases, and that's going to go in this box. So you make sure you just add those three together. Those are all of your purchases together. Um, and then you had a finance charge of $12.50. Sorry, you didn't underline that. All right. Um, so once you have it in here, same idea. You're going to add these together, subtract your payments or credits, add new purchases and that'll give you your new balance. So not terribly complicated on this one. We're just kind of following through and filling out the charts. Uh, I hope that helped, and I will see you in section two.